about an incident which happened in Toronto, uh, May to June 2015. Uh, so a true story. And here it is, the Peacock's Throne. Invigorated news, a rebel inmate has escaped the High Park Zoo <laughs> and gone recklessly on the land. Yet, who can fence in majesty? Who can imprison a cathedral? Who can lock up dreaming? What bureaucrat can cage the sun? There's something Persian about a peacock, versifying Omer Khayyam, to be at large crooning in the wilderness, strutting a stained glass fan, making its peacock's throne the very sky under petals of clouds, to act petulantly exquisite in its exorbitant orbit. But radiance is disobedient, a eh? prized, unexcelled beauty is always extravagantly radiant and exuberant flaunting of glittering dazzle, razzmatazz, phantasmagoria, as brazen as paisley, destructing the prison of routine, the regimen of business as usual, the dullness and nullity of the pedestrian, that free-ranging, wandering peacock making his throne, your roof, your backyard, your street's maple, reminds you your habitat doesn't have to be a self-made cell, but a castle of emancipated imagination, as wide open as the sky. The escaped peacock proves beauty is freedom, and freedom beautiful, prohibiting inhibitions, bland folderol, civic politics is scandals, fireworks, potholes, taxes, and we accept being trapped in what's humdrum and or tedious, and never tapping into rapture. Then that peacock flew free, reclaimed its true throne, the sky, signaling that beauty demands liberty, that beauty simply takes liberties, that the real art of democracy is to have us uplift our wings, dreaming first, then soaring.